the flex trimming system comes with a lot of parts. You get a lot of these little propeller blades that cut the weeds. It's actually flat like a little helicopter blade, but still very pliable. A bunch of extra screws and bolts, depending on your weed eater and detachment. You know, they're short. If your bolt coming out of your weed eater is short, you have this attachment. If it's much longer, you have this attachment. And then you thread these little helicopter blades into the top. It's going to snap, snap into the bottom. Fit right on top of here. And you're done. Okay. So here's the end of my weed eater. It's got a short screw and then it says don't use an arbor. I don't know what that means. I have to go look it up. But this has to go on here because I put a Allen wrench in here to make sure I can hold it still to screw things on and off. So this is going on first and then the Allen wrench matches up to a hole. So I can put this in here and I can twist the head on or off if I want to take it off. Okay, my attachment, I put a little Allen wrench in here, holds it still. I'll put this short one on. I'll put the screw in here. Sorry, there we go. And this one screws on backwards, counterclockwise. Now it's tight. I hold this. Find the hole and turn it tight. Okay, that's tight. Do the same thing when I want to take it off. Stick this little Allen wrench in here and turn it clockwise, take it off. So that should be tight enough. Then I've got my alternating colors. We need either tabs inserted. It's going to Oops. Where does this go? Okay. Do it this way. Just insert it into the tabs. Good to go. Time to go weed eat. Let's see how it's going to get all those underweeds from the chickweeds. Just don't go too fast. Cuts well. That's so, uh, low. And that's all. Right. I don't see any. Just a little wear. Cut through those. We had Snowbird 21 in Texas. In those bushes, and they're all dry wood. The green's coming out at the bottom. Cut through some of those branches. Cut them in half. Pretty powerful. I've had other ones that were the triangles that were thicker. They put holes in the bottom of my foundation. They, they were too hard. It's kind of an interesting innovation. You get ones that sort of flare up and flare down. I suppose that's intentional. We'll try a little edging, see how it works. hit the cement you can see pretty good design and to change them pop it off 
oh, came off my hand. That's nice. Yeah, just got to push down. Now I see how to do it. Got to push down on the back end here, not in the middle. Just down with your thumbnail, it comes off. Good deal. We're going to do a little more too. <laughs> 